Today's dive is five things about Dallas Turner, the stud coming out of Alabama. There's a ton here, so there's a lot of, for those watching on YouTube, there's a lot of stuff on the screen. Um, you know, I was reading about him in high school he, where he transferred his, uh, his junior into his senior year to try to continue to, you know, move himself up the football ladder. But he set lofty goals. I'm not hoping to blend in. I'm hoping to stand out. I never want to stay the same. I just want to continue to get better. Uh, that's what he said when he was transferring to St. Thomas Aquinas High School. I mean, this is a guy that's been just, you know, mama mentality. Uh, all the things that you want to see from somebody as far as where they're trying to get to in life, he's got it. Uh, his reputation, number two, is, quote, being very dedicated and super disciplined. One of his coaches in high school is a name by the name Cornelius Green, who you might remember he started at the U. So he worked with a lot of big-time guys in high school, including Jason Taylor, uh, who coached the defense at St. Thomas Aquinas. So, uh, you know, this guy is, you know, your top five people in your life have, the, have a huge, huge impact on where you get to. He's had some very powerful people around him. Uh, number three I put in there, he, the dude is he's 6'4", long, athletic frame, and that you combine that with, quote, an elite motor that never turns off. That was the work from Dane Brugler in The Beast. So you're talking about a supremely athletic guy who works at it and is gr grindy, which is a phenomenal combination. Uh, and to also people around him, at Bama, he became best friends with Will Anderson, who, you know, who do you want to associate yourself with? I don't know. The dude that came into the NFL last year and was absolutely phenomenal. I, like, I, I thought that was just a nice, interesting note. And then you go into his bloodlines. He comes from his dead, uh, well, half his bloodline, from his dad, Delon, who had a 12-year professional basketball career overseas. Dick Vitale gave his nickname, his dad, the nickname Baby Barkley. And I, you know, reading about his dad, his dad, uh, it, Dallas asked his dad about what he got his degree in. And he went to FAMU, smaller school. And he's like, oh, I didn't get my degree. So he went back. As he's running a business, the dude owns Quiznos and Foot Lockers and all, this thing, all these things without a degree, went back and got his degree. So it's just, I thought it was interesting when you just outline where he's coming from and the motivation and the skill set. Uh, this is an elite athlete with a high motor and uh, has had a tremendous career to this point, which is why he is considered the number one edge rusher in the draft. You're in on Dallas Turner. Dallas Turner team. I like Dallas Turner. I like him more now. I do. Remember, we talked about him last week, and I had moved him down a little bit because um, I just I still wonder about the fit with the Bears. But um, that's what Eagle and Line is throwing out there. You, really? Well, he's not a prototypical hand on the ground four three defensive end, um, and he's not particularly built like huge either. You know, he's more long, so long you know. It's, but he sets the edge. You got an edge setter. You don't buy it? No, I just I, I, I don't know that he's the prototypical guy that Matt Eberflus wants in the defense. Okay. And there's a difference between me doubting his talent and doubting whether or not he's a perfect fit for the Bears. Um, those are two different things. And I think that that's why I would put, if I had to put my money down, which is a real thing you can actually do, um, <laughs> I'm betting on some of these draft uh, picks. You know, I, I view Jared Verse as more of uh, more likely to be a bear than Dallas Turner, but I could be wrong because they've done their homework on Dallas Turner. I know that. We all city like the mayor.